Using a BPS instead of short hosting can seem kind of scary, especially since you don't have a panel from the beginning like you would on short hosting. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to install a BPS on server avatar, which is going to be our BPS manager. So let me show you how right now. What's up, everyone? So I'm going to show you how to install a hosting or BPS on server avatar. Now, for the terms of the installation, this will work with any BPS that you install Ubuntu on it. So it's going to be a breeze. Don't worry about it. All right. So before I show you how to do this, let me show you the BPS plans that Hostinger has because they're the sponsor for this video. And there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you how to apply. So jump over to the link in the description, go to hosting, BPS hosting, and they have several plans available that are really suitable for scaling your business, especially the website. Now, depending on the use case of your website, the resources needs, etc., there's different time, type of plans. In this case, I'm going to show you the most popular one, which is the KVM2, which is seven bucks a month, but it's going to be lower with the coupon code that I'm going to show you. So once you add it to cart, you're going to be asked, how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for, for 24 months. Now, right now, this is the price. And if we add the coupon code that will be in the link in the description, also, the price is going to drop to $150 with 98 cents. Remember, that's for 24 months for a BPS that has its dedicated IP and its dedicated resources. All right. Now, once you are on your hosting or H panel, once you bought your BPS, you're going to find it over here on this section, BPS. And you're going to find a list of all the BPS that you've previously bought or just the one that you've bought right now. All right. So in this case, let me show you how to set it up. The first step that you want to set up is to decide what region do you want to locate your BPS in. Now, depending where your clients are going to be mostly located, well, you want to select that one. So if they're going to be located in the Asian countries, well, you want to select India for this one. If it's going to be in Europe, well, you got Netherlands, you got France, and you got Lithuania. So decide what you want to use. In this case, I'll use the one with the Lotus lowest latency for us which is phoenix i'm going to decide to use that one and then it's going to ask me what os do i want to use now for installing on server avatar you will need to use a plain os not with a panel all right now in this case we are going to use ubuntu and for this right now it's got 2204 later on when they implement 24 then you'll be able to select that one and then do you want to previously install monarch's malware scanner which i think is a good good idea and it's free all right so go ahead and set that up add a root password. All right, so I've just added a password. Be aware that you can change this later on in case you forget it, all right? So BPS host name, I'll leave it as it is. I won't mess with SSH key right now. It's gonna continue. I won't save this. Okay, if I wanna change it up, I can do so right now. Let's go ahead and finish the setup. Now be aware that the operating system can be changed later on in case you selected the wrong one or for if, if you wanna go ahead and reset it, okay? So let's give it a few minutes for this to be installed. Here we go. The BPS is now ready. We have the IP address and the password that we've created in the beginning. In case you forget the password, go to SSH access and change it from here. OK, so let's jump over to server avatar, which is the new interface that they have. And things changed up a bit, but the concept is the same. Now, now let's go to create server and we're going to select custom. In this case, let's name this something, for example, Postinger test. All right. The IP address. First off, I'm going to paste the password. Now the IP. There we go. And we're going to select the tech stack. You've got options like Apache, Nginx, OLS, or Node. I'm going to select Apache, which is the most stable one. But if you just plan to install WordPress sites, I would recommend OLS, right? MySQL is fine. And we're going to connect now. There we go. The installation process has begun and it's going to install the BPS on server avatar. Now, on server avatar, we're going to be able to create our websites, applications, databases, FTP access. Everything you're going to need is going to be right here. It'll be ready in a couple of minutes, but that is how you're going to install your BPS on server avatar. And that's a wrap for this video.